hello 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 and welcome to another video of the feed my sheep foundation i am coming to you again with videos uh this is going to be another video uh, kind of touch base with the first one regarding the holy spirit and how everyone needs to be born again of the holy spirit in order to be in the kingdom of god and accept jesus christ as their savior because we are in a very very serious time in the land i know that everyone probably is familiar with uh what's going on in new orleans as far as like uh the uh the hurricane that's coming and everything and then the earthquakes that are coming not the, the earthquakes and the um what do you call those tornadoes it's a lot of different serious weather uh disasters that are coming to the land and um what we want to do is make sure like i said that we are a part of God's kingdom and that we are walking in his will. We're doing what he has called us to do. And we know him and we have, you know, our own identity in him of who he created us to be truthfully and authentically. Okay. Because everyone, you know, we got, he gives us talents and he gives us gifts. We can sing, dance, do different hair, cosmetology, different, you know, other things, um, cook, uh, you know, there's a lot of different talents and gifts that God gives us to be able to do but he also has a, a position in the kingdom that we've been placed into either as a king or either as a, a priest so we want to make sure that we know our position in the kingdom and we begin to operate or allow the holy spirit to operate through us i should say in that particular uh position because he is you know he's calling it he's calling for the kingdom right now to stand up and prayer and praying in the Holy Spirit is very, very important right now. Because see, this is what people feel, I don't know, maybe some you know, some people don't, but, but the, what they fail to realize is that when you're praying in the Holy Spirit, the enemy doesn't know what you're saying. And that is the language of heaven, okay? Because the Holy Spirit, when we get to heaven, that's the only language we're going to speak. We're not going to speak any English or Mexicano or, you know, Mexico or whatever. Those type of languages don't exist in heaven. There's only one language that exists in heaven, and that is the Holy Spirit language. Okay, and that's why God wants us to start right here on earth participating in the Holy Spirit and praying in the Holy Spirit so that we can become more in tune and more in, in one unity with God in the holy spirit in heaven right now on earth because it is very needed okay so um and again like i said this video and a couple more other videos that i'm going to put out they're mainly going to be about the holy spirit being born again because that is what god is pressing on my heart and in my spirit right now to speak to people about because it's so important and i think sometimes um we kind of get the wrong impression when we go to church because of the way it's actually brought to us, you know, kind of like with everybody saying, well, you sin and you need Jesus and, you know, and yes, that is the truth. But the main thing that the Heavenly Father wants us to know is that he wants us to be born again of the Holy Spirit. And you have to go through Jesus to get it because Jesus is the one that you know came here to earth with the Holy Spirit to baptize individuals into this kingdom, okay, with it. So... That's the important part too. But I think um, what he's really, what we're missing, the point, the clear point that we're really missing about heaven and the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven and Jesus Christ is the fact that God wants us to become one with him. Okay. And the only way to do that is through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that is the whole reason why Jesus Christ even came to earth with the Holy Spirit. Okay. And with the different gifts that he possessed that are a part of the holy spirit is it was to make us one with the heavenly father because he's our creator okay and he created us and he knows what purpose and what reason he created us for okay so i'm kind of going really fast today because like i said the holy spirit is really pressing on me how important this really is for us to know these things and how important it is for us to be born again of the holy spirit you know, um, or either to be, if you might have the Holy Spirit, like I said in the previous video, and you might just need to be awakened within your spirit to know that, okay, I am already a part of the kingdom of God, okay, but I don't know how to operate in the kingdom of God, Holy Spirit, you know, I don't know how to pray in the Holy Spirit, but then you just speak to the Holy Spirit, begin to start talking to the Holy Spirit inside of you, and that's another thing God wants us to be aware of, that we need to be at one with Him and the Holy Spirit, you know, we need to 
be able to come to him and, and come to, and speak to the Holy Spirit and know that God is speaking to us from heaven through the Holy Spirit to us, okay? Through ourselves once we've been baptized in the Holy Spirit. That's a very, very, very important thing that we need to uh, we need to learn about in the earth right now. And, uh, you know, because again, like with all the different weather climates that's uh, been touching and, you know, God is, he's moving and he is really, uh, he's coming in, he's coming, he's coming. And uh, we need to be in prayer in the Holy Spirit and we need to be, uh, we need to be in, in the Holy Spirit. That's the bottom line. I just, <laughs> I can't stress that enough because it's so important right now. And um, so let me see. I'm going to put this. Hold on for one second here.